Hey, I'm Dr. Arielle Foster. I'm a physical therapist and yoga teacher. And today I wanted to address a common question that comes up when people are learning inversions. So the safest, I'm gonna talk about inversions from the safest to the most potentially dangerous, the vertical inversions. And I'm gonna talk about inversions from the easiest to learn to the hardest to learn. So first of all, we're looking at handstand, forearm balance, and uh, headstand. And so between the three of these, the safest to learn is probably handstand at the wall. The biggest challenge that most people have coming up into handstand at the wall is psychological between the ears. And the second safest, quote unquote, to learn would probably be headstand. And I am actually not a big proponent of learning headstand at the wall. So learning headstand safely in the middle of the room with the arms wrapped around the head, the headstand A version, the first version, that is gonna be the second safest to learn because if you fall out of handstand at the wall, you usually just fall to the side, your head's pretty far from the floor. If you fall out of headstand in, as you're learning it away from the wall, you can pretty easily take a somersault and work through that. Um, Forearm balance, I'm gonna say, is a little bit trickier to, from a safety perspective. And you should absolutely, when you're first learning forearm balance, practice at the wall. And when you practice at the wall with forearm balance, you end up, um, you, you end up being relatively safe. So it's probably on par to some extent with uh, headstand. The challenge is that your head's pretty close to the wall, and if you're gonna fall, you're gonna fall smack onto your head, and you're gonna tweak your shoulders as they get yanked back behind you. So falling out of forearm balance in the middle of the room in particular is probably um, the, the most uh, easily damaging to the body. So, however, when you're learning headstand, you have to be so, so, so careful about the neck and about how much weight goes through the arms. So again, the order that I would recommend learning, I'd be, I would recommend practicing handstand at the wall so that you can get an idea of what is vertical, what is a complete upside down vertical. The second thing I'd recommend practicing is maybe um, headstand with a really guided, like specifically guided DVD or yoga video or teacher right in front of you who can guide you the whole way and keep you safe. And learn that first with the knees to the chest in the middle of the room, and then eventually maybe at the wall, and then eventually in the middle of the room. And then third, practice forearm balance at the wall, then in the middle of the room, and finally practice your handstand in the middle of the room. So if you master those techniques, that's the safest order. Now on the other hand, from easiest to hardest, you have to weigh these two things out. The easiest for our body to understand and to grasp in an upside down perspective is going to be headstand. Because headstand requires the least amount of just sheer strength and stability at the shoulder joint and the least amount of range of motion at the shoulder joint. So headstand A, that's the one where your arms are clasped, that's gonna be the easiest to learn. And it's gonna be one that you wanna practice in order to get control of the others. And you should be able, when you practice headstand A, to be able to lift your head just the slightest bit up off the floor. The second easiest to learn would probably be forearm stand uh, and or handstand at the wall. So handstand at the wall, um, really fun, great rush of energy. Forearm balance at the wall is similarly really great. It takes a little bit more of a leap to get up, but it's really powerful. And that would be the order that I would recommend practicing those in. So if you're new to inversions, start with the safest handstand at the wall, and then move to the easiest to grasp and get that solid, that would be headstand in the middle of the room. And then finally move towards forearm balance and then towards a handstand in the middle of the room. I hope this has been helpful. Hope you have a great day.